Welcome back, guys. Uh, just doing a little, uh, kind of like an update thing. I guess you could call it a vlog for the day. Um, I got a lot of stuff done today. I, uh, obviously, if you guys are paying attention, I did a little unboxing earlier. If you didn't, um, I'll put that video up in the corner right here. Um, but I wanted to get a lot of stuff done, and as the day goes on, I just couldn't get as much done as I wanted to. But as you can see back here, I'll show you in a second. I kind of came up with something off the top of my head and it turned out okay. So I'm going to show you guys, uh, maybe to give a few of you guys some good tips for building one yourself. Uh, I'll just tell you, it's a rod rack, but I'll show you in a second. Here. Okay, so uh, basically wanted to build myself something that would store as many rods as possible in this little space that is my new office um so this is just what i have right now but i figured why not build for the future and uh give myself an excuse to buy some more rods or you know if you guys have any rods out there that you'd like me to try rods and reels that is because this is all i have <laughs> um go ahead and send them my way uh you can just email me uh i'll put the email right in here um basically it's really simple so that is a two by six and it was one two by six and one two by four so the two by four was an eight footer and the two by six i believe was a 12 footer and obviously like i said before or maybe not it just depends on how i edit this um if you guys want me to i will put all the dimensions to this one specifically which is really simple in the description and that way you guys can build your own or if you just want some ideas or tips for building your own at home uh, I'd be glad to help so like I said um, well as I was about to say I just threw some screws in there to hang a backpack I didn't do it on that side because the door opens right there and the backpack wouldn't fit but uh, oddly enough for now because there's no rods on the other side I can set back my my boxes and bags and stuff if I want to all on that back shelf basically so by doing it that way with the flat bottoms like I did it gives me a nice flat bottom shelf so and then obviously that's a I think that's a seven five or seven six something like that heavy action um, that is too big to stand up in pretty much any room um, so basically I just I'm gonna lay that on top of there what I'm thinking of doing is putting some pegs right there on this side and then on that side so I can hang that down below and then put another one facing the other way so I can have my two extra large rods over there and in here that's my favorite rod right there that I use all the time and it just fits it's literally a 6.6 six, and there is <laughs> like a quarter of an inch so I got lucky building it up off the ground like I did um, but that's okay because that's my favorite rod is the that's as big as I need right there so um, and if I need bigger ones I'll just set them on top like I did with that one so all right so that's the gist of the rod rack uh, I mean it's really simple and like I said if you want me to uh, just leave it in the comments below if you want the actual dimensions to that like I said I'll hold 36 rods so I got some collecting to do. Anybody want to send me some rods to try out? You know, I got a place to store them now. So, uh, yeah, I'm really happy with it. I might paint it or something like that, but it's just going to stay in my uh, office here and basically keep me company as far as organizing my rods goes. So I hope that helps a few people, you know, because I know a lot of people have a mess of rods and I always see people with them just bunched up or like even people Velcro them together. I know they make things for that and everything, but realistically nice little separation like that uh, all the reels pointed out you know you can really see what you got on there you can even leave the baits on them then that way and you can just grab them and go uh, and being quick and efficient is what I'm all about so uh, just learning as I go like the rest of us so I hope like I said I hope that helps a few people out uh, I hope you enjoyed this video I hope it you know made sense to you obviously it's just gonna be a little quick you know how to here um, and like I said hopefully you guys you know if you want the dimensions I'll measure them all back out i just did it off the top of my head i fabricate stuff like that all the time so 
Uh, I'll put them in the de uh, description, and then that way you guys have it. So I hope that helps a few guys out. And uh, obviously, if you've seen my videos before, you know what's coming next. But if you like this video and you like videos like this, remember to...